Step one, selecting the 1000 Hertz pure tone in order to zero your VU meter for your input gain. Once your input gain is zeroed between minus two and plus two, ideally at zero, do not touch your input gain again in the course of calibration or testing. Calibrating in the ideal situation where you can simply hang a microphone at approximately ear level for a child can be accommodated by placing a cable on the test side and then dangling the, the microphone inside the booth which then allows you to go outside the booth to conduct calibration. This scenario allows you to calibrate independently. As you exit the sound booth it is best to close both doors or one door if it's a single wall booth. And we are then able to connect with another cable to the sound level meter in order to begin calibration independently. Notice on the sound level meter, the weighting is on A weighting with slow averaging. So now that the input gain has been zeroed, we will begin to select the file to be calibrated. using the speech-shaped noise. In this example, using the AZ Bios speech-shaped noise. With the target output gain being 60 dBA, you're going to adjust the dial on your audiometer in 1 dB steps until target calibration is met. The dial setting on the audiometer is in HL, therefore we anticipate that it will be lower than the dBA setting. In this example, the dial setting is 52 dBHL, and on the sound level meter, the dial setting is 60. Option number two for calibration is the scenario where you do not have an additional cable hanging down in your booth, and therefore you need to approximate head level using items that can easily be found in the booth, such as disposable gloves and a box, leading to approximate child head height. The concept is the same except for one person must, in this scenario, sit in the room and report whether the stimuli needs to be increased or decreased using simple hand motions. Option number three is using a downloadable sound level meter application on your, either your Android or iPhone device using the speech shape noise and another person in the booth holding it. Please note that this is within 1 dB of the measured intensity level reported using the other sound level meter.